What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we've got a legend in the building, Marlon Wayans. Clap it up. Thank you again for joining us for Community Voices this week. Got it. Yeah, cool. So let's jump right into it. Um, talk to us about, you know, your 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 time growing up in New York, because I know it's a big city. A lot of things are happening. So take us through that. Uh, I, mean, I, that I, grew, I grew up before the gentrification happened. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, you know, it, there was none. It was just in New York. It was, you know, junkies, drugs, drug dealers, prostitutes. Uh, you know, it was just it was a wild time. You know what I mean? There was no Starbucks <laughs> and no, uh, you know, <laughs> there was no Starbucks and Barnes and Nobles and Trader things Joe's, of that nature. Whole Foods. Trader Joe's. Now nah, we had A and P, and uh, and uh, this was before the Agostinos. It was before luxury <laughs> foods. So right. you know, I mean, it was a hard time. You know, but me, my, I came. We grew up in the projects, in New York City. Um, and we was poor. I don't care. And now it's the meatpacking and all my street cred is dead because now it's gentrified. <laughs> but back in the day, I was like, yo, I'm from Chelsea. They get scared. Now I go, I'm from Chelsea. They're like, nigga, the meatpacking district, shut your ass up. <laughs> so now um, for me, um, just to see the development of the area around it. But yeah. yet, it's a reminder that things could be better around you. But we're not really dealing with the issues. Poverty still exists. Right. And everybody in those projects and those walls, I don't care how many dope restaurants there are. I don't care how many Whole Foods is in your neighborhood or Starbucks across the street. Mm -hmm. You're still living in brick buildings full of asbestos, full of uh, chemicals and, and, and piss in the hallways and graffiti in the stairwells and, you know, just, just you know, bad public schools around you. And, right. you know, I don't see how we as a people can get better when, you know, I say poverty is a mentality. Poverty is something that, you know, you're taught and raised to be. It's like going to a jail. We were raised in a prison, so that's why the prison system is filled with brothers from the projects because we were already raised in prison. So what is it to just, you know, all right, so I, I'm just here. Just, some brothers looking yeah. at it as vacation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, from, you know, the current situation. From where you grow up, right. So, you know, for me, I just, my brothers always kept me on the street now, my mom, my dad, and um, and, and Hudson Gill. And, okay. You know, there was a big part of, you know, my su summer camps. I, I loved Devil's Workshop. And my mom and my dad knew that. So they sent us to summer day camp. So we'd be there all day long at Hudson Gill. And uh, I went to uh, preschool at Hudson Gill before I went to a kindergarten because yeah. my mom couldn't afford a babysitter. So, you know, for me, I like to give back to the community that raised me. And so I rebuilt their gym. I'm trying to rebuild that did. I want to do. And then I also want to, um, you know, give them Christmas every year and Absolutely. do a dope like block party every year. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's things I want to do that's just, you know, every year. You know, because, you know, some families go, most of them want to you know, our family straight to Hollywood. And right. so my job is to see if I could grab a few kids and find find me a Keenan that could direct his whole family <laughs> out of the projects. Yeah. So talk to me about, like, once you got into that position where you're getting money now, how, what inspired you to start giving back? Um. I think it's the only thing to do. I think God inspires you to give back. I think your journey inspires you to give back. I didn't get here by accident. I was groomed. I was taught. I was protected. Um, my brother Keenan took the time. My mom and dad took the time. My brother Damon took the time. My brother Sean, Kim, Keenan, Elvira, Devon, Nadia. Being the baby of 10, everybody took their time to give to me. And it's only, you know, only right that I give back to them. And I pay it forward. And give back to my next generation, my 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 not just my family, yeah. but my family in terms of the, the family and the projects. Um, that's important to me because you know there's cats I grew up with that have families, and you know it's important to me that I I, I help the community that raised me. Absolutely. And lastly, you know, talk about Hudson Gill's importance, just like in your upbringing and how influential it was in your life and growing up, especially during your childhood. Yeah, I went to, uh, 
Hudson Gill uh, Dental, medical. Mm-hmm. I got my immunization shots at Hudson Gill. I got my teeth pulled at Hudson Gill. <laughs> I, you know, like for real, man. Like this, they were a part of my my life, my parents' life, my mom, my dad. And so, you know, uh, it's important to me. Like, look, I could have bought a, a Bentley or some dope car with mm-hmm. what I gave to rebuild their gym. But to me, that's not about the Bentley. It's like, you know, for me, it's about, I know that's a place. It's a safe haven for the kids to go out. I'm saving lives by doing that. So that's right. much more important to me. That's a legacy. Nobody cares about your cars. Nobody cares about the big diamonds you got on your neck. Nobody cares about your watches. People, you know, legacy is about what you leave behind and what you, who you affect around you. And that uh, Hudson Gill affected me. And so I'm going to pay back and give back and help them with their outreach program that, to keep protecting and raising the kids in, the, in our neighborhoods. Absolutely. It sounds like it was a, a one-stop shop for you where- I, I, want them to be a, I want them to be a Hudson Gill in every neighborhood. Yeah. I think it's important. You know what I mean? A, a safe haven, a place to go. Right. You know, I think every community needs that. Absolutely. Especially, you know, today, you know, keep kids off the street, out of trouble and get them into extracurriculars so that way they could be like another Marlon Wayans or, you know, someone that like to, you know, but get into that place and pay it forward. That's why I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, look, I've been a part of Creative Coalition where we go around and we try to, you know, keep the arts um, in the, the conversation of, of st- STEM instead of STEM, make it STEAM, you know, yeah. science, technology, um, uh, engineering, arts and math um, and sports. So really make it steams because we all have different talents. And, um, you know, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to inject that little by little and yeah. keep into the guild and grow the guild. And hopefully there'll be a guild in every community. Like there used to be a, a YMCA or a boys club or a boys and girls club in America. I think, you know, this, this is more specific especially to the arts, you know, they do plays, they, they do things there, you know, they, you know, I, I remember I, I used to be uh, making key chains with, with, the, with, the, with the vinyl, whatever that was called, with the rope and right. the key chains. And I had the snake and the, the cobra. The and snake, yeah, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> and those things, man, I, I could have been out trying to plot to rob the local bodega, mm-hmm. but I wasn't. I was so busy doing the creative thing and, you know, it kept me out of trouble. And that's yeah. why I'm Right now, on my way to work um, to film a movie I'm producing. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, feels good. And I'm grateful to them. And I'll always give back. I've raised a lot of money for the Hudson Guild. And I've given, given a lot of money to the Hudson Guild. And I'll continue to. Yeah. I think that's the importance of, I think we went to the same high school. Uh, I'm LaGuardia 09. I don't know what year. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> nine, you a baby. Yeah. <laughs> I look younger than you. You, you all right? You got problems? You want to talk about it? <laughs> You got me. Oh, nah, what'd you go for? You <laughs> art. You went for voice or art? Okay, oh, no. Yeah, I, I have no voice. You still do it? Uh, you here and there. It? I'm not as good as I was back in 09, but. Oh, practice makes perfect. That's true. Yeah. That's dope. LAG. Yes, sir. But, Best um, high school ever, man. Yeah, Best high school ever. Very, very eye opening, especially coming from the South Bronx and going into that school. So. How lucky are we to be able to yeah. be in that environment? Yeah. You know, around a bunch of artists. It was like taking a break. When you leave the hood and you go to that school and you ain't got to be tough, you ain't got to be nothing or right. be an artist. You, you can be a no nerd. Front, no facade, like nothing. Like you, just, uh, you, you could just be you and you are embraced, you are loved, mm-hmm. and, you know, your family. And yeah. you know, I've been really blessed with that with this journey, man. Absolutely, man. But yeah, on your behalf, we'd like to make a donation to Hudson Gill because I know they've been doing amazing work and you're a testament to that. So if you want to make a, a nice, healthy 20000 donation to Hudson Gill, I'm sure that's going to help them with like... Yeah, it makes my heart smile. ...and services to... Yes, sir. You know, ...keep the kids safe and healthy and, you know, produce another Marlin, so... A, a bunch of Wayans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for Thank sure. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Yeah, and I mean, that's it for, for this conversation, but you know, I'll let you have the last words to close it up. Um, I, I think I speak to all artists when you do stuff like this, you know, and you, you, you give. I think it's important to give. Um, so I'm going to match your donation. 
uh, because I want to put together a Christmas for the, for them, um, for the kids in my neighborhood. So, um, you know, I think every artist, we should all pitch in and help the communities that raised us or find yourself a charity and just know that your, um, you know, your impact is impacting those little ones that will one day be you. And that, that's when, you know, you can really call yourself a hero. Absolutely. That's a big gesture, right. too. So I'm sure Hudson Gill will definitely appreciate it and, you know, shower you with love and adoration. So, always. Cool. Thank you, brother. Respect. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thanks, Keish.